Hey everyone! Every animal lives somewhere, and on this trip we'll explore where they come from. No, not at the zoo, but where do they come from before they get to the zoo? Animals live in something called habitats, but what exactly is a habitat? A habitat is the home of a plant or animal. After this field trip, you'll know where animals live, different animals found in those habitats, what kind of eater they are, and a few fun facts about them. Let's get ready for our trip to a few different habitats in Africa. Well, here we are. Welcome to Africa. What animals come to mind when you think of this big place called Africa? Although this continent has many different habitats, we'll only be visiting the Sahara Desert at the top of Africa and the African savanna, which is like right in the middle and below the rainforest. Here we are in the Sahara Desert. This is the largest hot desert in the entire world. What animals come to mind when you think of the desert? Let's see what we can find. This little guy is a fennec fox. He's the smallest of all the foxes in the entire world. He's also an omnivore, which means he eats plants and animals, like small birds, insects, and rabbits. His huge ears help him to hear food that may be moving underground, and they help release the heat to help him to cool off. He also lives in sand tunnels, and he lives in the sand so that it keeps him cool under the hot desert sun. This next little guy is called a Jaboa, and he lives in the very hot Sahara Desert. Can you guess how he keeps cool? He burrows or digs under the sand to keep cool, and he also uses his ears to help him keep cool. When he's thirsty, he doesn't necessarily drink water. Instead, he gets his moisture from food, plants, and insects that he eats. Can you guess what this animal is? This is an ostrich, and it's also the world's largest bird that can be taller than eight feet. They're omnivores, which means they eat plants and animals. Although they can't fly, they are very fast runners. They can be found in the Sahara Desert or on the African savanna. If a predator is near, ostriches lay low to the ground in order to camouflage themselves. Camouflage basically means to blend in with their surroundings. Now that we visited the very hot Sahara Desert, let's get ready to head to the African savanna. What animals come to mind when you think of the savanna? Let's see what we can find here. This is the African savanna. A savanna is an open, flat area of land that has grass and very few trees. I know you all know what this is. This is a lion and it's a carnivore. Do you remember what a carnivore is? Carnivores eat meat. Lions live in groups called prides, and they have about 5 to 10 other adult lions. They like to rest for about 20 hours a day and tend to hunt early in the morning or when the sun is going down. They're the second largest cat in the world. Do you know what is the largest cat in the world? The largest cat is a Siberian tiger. Cheetahs are another animal that you can find on the African savanna. They're also active in the day and they like to hunt mostly in the late morning or early evening. And like lions, they're carnivores, which can you guess what that means? Carnivores eat meat. Cheetahs are actually the fastest land animal because they can run as fast as 70 miles per hour. And instead of roaring, cheetahs chirp. The African elephant is another animal you can find on the African savanna and they're the world's heaviest land animal, which can weigh more than 22,000 pounds. They're herbivores, which means they only eat vegetation, like plants, grass, bark, and leaves. What do you think they use their large ears for? They use their large ears to help them control their body temperature and to keep them cool. And what about their trunks? The nostrils at the end of their trunk is used to pick up food and water to put it in their mouth. What else do you think they could use it for? Their tusks are used for protection and to move and pick up things. Giraffes can also be found on the savanna. They're the tallest animal on earth and can grow to be about 18 feet tall. Every giraffe's pattern is different. That means no two giraffes are the same. 
Giraffes are also herbivores. Can you remember what that means? It means they only eat vegetation like leaves, plants, and grass. Tick birds sit on the back of their neck to eat the bugs that they find. They also chirp loudly if they know danger is near. What other animals do you see near the giraffes on the savanna? That's right, zebras. Every zebra stripe pattern is different. And just like the giraffe, they're also herbivores. What does an herbivore mean again? It means that they only eat vegetation and they do not eat meat. If an animal is trying to attack them, also known as a predator, zebras will gather together and confuse the predator with Well, this is the end of our trip. There are so many more animals that we didn't even get a chance to explore. But I hope you enjoy getting to know more about these different animals in the Sahara Desert and in the African Savannah.